Hello again. It's been a while. Um, this is Ty Warner with Kiss Soft and Tyke Engineering. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is how to compare uh, specific mesh or tooth forms with other tooth forms. So say you have multiple designs and you want to see kind of get a comparison between uh, two designs. So the way we do that is it's pretty simple. Uh, simply uh, I'm just going to open up a, I'm just going to grab a rack and pinion gear here as an example. And we have uh, 3D geometry here. I'm going to close that. And instead, I'm going to open up a 2D geometry mesh. Okay. So I'll open this up. I zoom out. And here I can see I've got. Um, a rack on the top and a pinion on the bottom, okay? And let's say that I want to look at a bigger a bigger tooth profile or I want to look at something different between the two and I want to compare them. Uh, simply, I can turn my properties tab on and if I look at my pinion, I may want to look at this pinion and I can pin this curve. If I save the curve, I can do multiple things here. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to call it uh, maybe a dark blue. Well, maybe I should go green, like a dark green or cyan. I'm going to give it some kind of thickness, and maybe I'll make this dashed. I'm going to hit OK. Now you can see I have a dashed curve here that represents the tooth form that I started with. All right. Now, I'm not going to close this window because then I'll lose my tooth form, but I am going to tuck it back in here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this module to maybe 1.6, right? And I'm going to size this. Let's see what that does. All right. Now if I look at my form... I have a 1.6 normal module here in this red curve, and I have the green curve, which represented my 1.5 module. And I've, I've now, now I can compare these, and if I'm really interested in showing differences, I can simply save this as a either a DXF or a JPEG. So if I change this as a, as a JPEG, two forms. Okay. Oh, I got to put it in a different location. Let's put it here in my pictures. Let's put it in camera roll. Now it's saved. And if I go here now to my camera roll, here's my tooth form. And I have a picture of this. And you can do this with lots of different things. You can save a curve. You can save multiple curves. You can save uh, a tooth radius. You can save uh, tip relief, root relief, all these different things, uh, and simply compare them just like this. So if you didn't know you could do that, uh, it's a simple little, little something you can do to compare between tooth profiles um, if I wanted to look at, uh, you know, put it in a modification, I can put this modification now and maybe I save this new tooth form right here. And I want that to be brown and a little bit smaller. And I'm going to make it dotted. I say, okay, it's in there somewhere. Um, and then I put in a modification of uh, maybe just some rounding, maybe 0.2 on the pinion. Now here's my old profile, the dotted. Punch that up a little bit. You see my dotted profile is the old one, and now the new one has the... Uh, the rounded on it, okay? 
So that's how you would save curves and, and uh, look at different um, you know, tooth involute forms. If you have questions, you can always call me, 218, let's see, my phone number, 715-477-0828, and uh, we can talk about this stuff. Otherwise, you can contact me at ty.warner at kisssoft, K-I-S-S-S-O-F-T dot com. And uh, if you've got specific questions, we can help you out. Thanks for listening.